What's up guys, Duckfin Gaming here, we're back with Miss Erica, and we're hanging out with this dumbass still, but I think this is the mission where he um, surprises us and turns into a werewolf, I'm not sure, but um, can you guys tell that my microphone's better now? I'm sorry about the last four videos, um, I had to reboot my computer and like, it had to start off fresh and delete all my stuff, so it didn't have the correct driver to read my microphone so it was recording that last four videos with the microphone built into the laptop so it had a really bad echo and it sounded pretty trash so thank you guys for hanging in there with me I know that was kind of annoying but we are back doing magical magical healing spells when we don't need to and uh, we have our better microphone back now so we don't have to worry about shitty sounds hopefully and um, hopefully the echo is gone. I'm pretty sure it is because that was mainly due to the fact that it was recording from the laptop's microphone and not my professional recording microphone that I use. <laughs> but hopefully it's sounding better. And um, hopefully this maybe looks a little bit better because I had to reinstall, you know, Pernasal Studio. And um, I don't quite have it to the settings I had it before but still I can't really get an HD it's not gonna look too much better but hopefully it looks somewhat better hopefully but anyway we're gonna run our happy ass over here is he still behind me way over there it's all good even if I lose him all I have to do is just wait like an hour when you get up here and he'll show up right beside you when you're done waiting and plus he'll charge up your magic and your life and your stamina always wait you know it's a good a good little tips and tricks so um I got a lot of work to do I made a couple st. Rose three videos I'm gonna make a couple of these videos in a row and um, I also I'm thinking about doing don't quote me on it don't hold it against me if I don't do it but I'm thinking about doing the um, one of the Zelda games the one that I got for free in the ambassador program because I was playing it last night and the Zelda game and the Super Mario Kart Circus is like the only two games that I really actually liked. I might like the Kirby, I haven't tried it yet. But I don't like too many of the Ambassador games, but still, I got like 20 free games, I don't mind. Although at this point I definitely rather had my money back, the $100 back. But still, I like my 3DS, I don't mind having all the extra games. If I ever sell it one day, I can say it has all those games and I'll be able to make more, more money off of it. But um... I definitely do like at least half the, the Game Boy Advance games we got for free, so that's a good thing. But I've been playing a lot of just 3DS and a lot of the Grand Theft Auto 3 for iPod Touch. And um, I'm almost to the third city. I'm going to have some Dodo footage and some Rocket Launcher footage for that game soon. So if you guys are keeping up with the channel and not just watching these Skyrim Let's Plays, then um, that's what's coming soon. I wouldn't really call this a monthly update, but still. And Christmas is in a... Um, it's in a week now. I don't celebrate Christmas, but you know, I'm sure Looks you guys like do. Been digging here, and recently, tread lightly. Yes, I will. I will tread lightly. But um, like I said, I don't really celebrate Christmas, but I am a little thankful for Christmas because of the fact that it gave my dad an excuse to get me new tires for my car, and my car really needed them. So that is a good thing, because <laughs> I am very broke. But um, if you want to help me out any, please, if you see an ad, click it. You don't have to actually go with it and sign up. Just click the ad, let it load up, and then exit it. And that will help me out a lot. Holy shit, it's a naked, dead thing. I always burn this guy. He always gets in my way. But me and him are a really good team. I burn them, he chops them. He chopping me, or there's another guy. I burn him, he chops them, and we're a good little setup here. I say that because he's like hurt now and I'm gonna have to bust out I'm gonna have to bust out my blade sword yeah I'm, I'm using a blade sword now instead of a um, mace I decided that I'm going to just play it a lot different than I played it with the other guy when I first started playing this game the other guy used mace I used a lot of mace instead of magic and I'd mostly just run around with a mace and heal and so on this one, I want to be a full mage and just have like a, a small sword. I don't want to have a mace. So I'm going to work with that. See how it runs. I want to be a really powerful mage though. So I want, to, I want to get my mage and spells as high as I possibly can. And unlock some really cool spells possibly that I haven't seen. Because I mean, right now I do have fireball and I do have the, um, 
the icicle one that like shoots an icicle at you and that's really cool i like those two spells i think now that we're waiting a second we got our mama charge we can go ahead and use it the ice spike and the fireball they're really fun they're pretty cool so it sounds a lot better don't it <laughs> i've already posted this footage a long time ago but it's in the middle of a let's play so i'll post it again and then when we do get to the end of this let's play i'll probably post the end again just because again it's part of the let's play because i've already did post the end of this game in a different video but since it's let's play you know i want to post it all together so let's we'll see what happens where'd he go there he is now look what you've gotten yourself into no worries just sit tight i'll find the release don't you look so good in this in this Pocahontas outfit. God, I love staring at a lot more now. My emo golf chick. <laughs> emo golf mage. Which one is that? Doesn't matter. He wears that armor, he dies. Killing you will make for an excellent story. None of you will be alive to tell it. What's he doing? He's morphing into a vampire, a werewolf, a power ranger. With your powers combined, I am Captain Planet. Oh, wait, 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 Skyrim, vampire. No, Skyrim, werewolf, yes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we could have took these guys, me and him. It's not too big a deal, but that was cool, werewolf I mode. I hope I didn't scare you. You're scaring me by being too close to it's my face. It's a blessing face. given to some of us. We can be like wild beasts, fearsome. We can live like kings. We can live like kings. Oh no. Only the circle have the beast blood. Prove your honor to be a companion. Eyes on the prey, not the horizon. We should keep moving. Still the Draugr to worry about. I asked him if I was going to become a werewolf. Sorry, I meant to read that. So I know you guys probably can't see it because it's, it's not in HD quality. So I'm going to like, you know, read the captions how I've been doing just so you guys know what I selected. Yep, What's you bitches at? are gonna get stabbed. Wham! Destruction goes up. You shoot friggin' arrows. I shoot friggin' fire fireballs and flames. Go ahead, finish her. Wham! Oh, that was great. See what I mean? We're like a partner. Look at all that blood. You have an epic sword. And every time he stares at me, he gets an epic sword in his pants, but he can't have me. Nope. This girl is only into other chicks. <laughs> That's because this girl's controlled by a guy. <laughs> oh well. I haven't decided who I want to marry yet. I did say in an earlier video that I wanted to marry that girl that was part of the companions, but I have to finish the companions to do that. So we might do that, we might not. I'm not sure yet. But I definitely don't want to marry the same girl I married in the other video I posted. And that damn uh, marriage video that I posted is, it, it did so well, it still does so well. It's like, it, it's my second highest video, so it's pretty damn awesome. Oh, yeah, awesomeness. I'm glad he can handle me setting him on fire, because <laughs> cause he's going to get set on fire a lot. So I will say, I've been getting a lot more views on the Skyrim Let's Plays than I have on any other Let's Plays. My worst Let's Play would definitely have to be Battlefield 3. And my Modern Warfare 3 kind of got an alright viewing, but it was still only about 30 plays each video. And this one at least, normally, some of them might not, but normally at least get around 60 views. And at least within a week get about 100 views. And that's not a lot, but it's definitely, it's good, you know? If I make, if I end up making like, 90 videos on the Skyrim and they each get like a hundred you know a hundred plays that's pretty damn good that's gonna add up so just you know keep watching it and just make sure to just like it and leave a comment and if you see an ad just click it I think I said that earlier but if you see an ad just just click it that's what really helps me make money off duck fence and it really helps me keep going I really want to turn this into like a little job. If I can get a part-time job by the beginning of the new year, and I continue to work really hard on this uh, Duckfin Gaming, I'll be able to get a new computer. I'll be able to get a recording device that records in HD and not just 
in this format, which is about maybe, I don't know, 560p. I don't think it's as low as the 400p, but it's definitely not HD, so... Damn, I don't have to bust on my sword. I don't really have anything. But like I said, if you click those, click those ads, it really helps me make a few pennies. And uh, I don't really get paid until I make over $100 through Google Ad Search. And I've only made about 40 in the last two months. So I'm not even going to see any of that money for a couple months. So like the more you guys click it, those ads, the more you guys help support and like and leave comments and hell even favorite, then the quicker I'll be able to get paid and to give you guys better footage. So I'm just saying, help a brother out. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've talked about a lot of shit already, so um, let's try to push through this since we're already 10 minutes through and let's do the damn thing. I don't even know why we're here. <laughs> I forgot. I don't even know why I'm bothering with all these chests. I just kind of want to get my lock picking skills up. Let's be honest, I don't need anything. You know what I mean? I don't need much. I mean, what I'm wearing right now is what I'm pretty much going to want to wear the whole time. Because like I said before, I'd much rather see her in this amazing, sexy outfit. Let me see her. Than see her in, like, really, you know, covering armor. Like, she looks so fierce. Maybe I'll be able to update this armor better, but... It's going to take a really good piece of armor for me to trade this really sexy... Cloth she's wearing, because it looks too good on her. So we will pump up our mamma, mam, <laughs> magica, whatever the hell it's called, and um, we'll see if I can't do this perk yet. What does it need? Thirty. Okay, I'm one away from it because I, I really want to work on my fire spells. They're one of my favorites, so I'm one away from doing that. So we'll work on that and hopefully get that up by the time we get out of here. What was that? It was me. Now where are you? Oh, that, was that you that said that? <laughs> this is the dumb guy. They send the dumb one with me instead Never of his brother. His brother's a smart one. This is the dumb no. one. <laughs> I actually like this guy better, though. He's cool. Watch it there, sister. Watch it there, sister. But yeah, this is kind of a request doing the companion missions first, because I could just go off and do the main story mode. We kind of set that on pause. I could go off and do Dark Brotherhood stuff, and I could do off Mage College stuff, but I decided to do this one first. Those ones I just said are pretty much the ones we're going to do, and then we'll beat the game. Because they're my favorite. And then after we beat the game, depending on what you guys want to, if you guys want me to continue or not, we'll go do some other stuff. But we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Because that's going to be a good 100 videos in. And it'll be my longest series that I've done yet. So, once I do that, I'll be very, I'll be very proud of what I've done on Skyrim. You hear that crackling? I'm just getting some water while this loads. Gotta keep myself quenched. Especially that I'm talking pretty much the whole time. time to end this game. You scared me? Where'd you, how'd you come from? You're like just chilling in this tomb over here? You're just sitting back here like this. I'm gonna wait and see if anyone comes. Look at that side boob. I'm trying to see some side boob here. Watch out. <laughs> Oh man, I'm, I'm not like perverted as people may take it when I say that. I just, I really love the female body. <laughs> Females are just really beautiful, especially the skinny ones. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, there's a difference between curves and fat rolls. Just saying. There's something else I want to say. I forgot what it was. I'll probably remember by the time we finish this Let's Play. <laughs> or at least this episode of the Let's Play. My fire spells are so good, I'm really feeling them. When I run out of mammoth, mammoth, yeah, when I run out of a big ass creature, when I run out of magicka, I can just wait and it loads it back up and just come back and burn all these bastards again. God, there's three of them, go away. I also like because it burns multiple enemies at once. It's always awesome. I expect you to take care of the rest of them. Get him. He's almost dead, just take care of him. He ran away like a pansy. About time. We're supposed to be a team here. Light armor increased. How about... How about you increase my... Destruction abilities. That's pretty much what I'm trying to aim at here. 
do like this sword. I'm not sure what it is. It's a blade sword. I don't know. I just, I think I bought it. I don't know. I don't know where I got it from, but I do like it. Again, I mean, I just wait to charge up my Magicka. I'm trying to blow through. It's been 15 minutes of a damn dungeon. <laughs> These dungeons get long after a while, but we're almost there. I think. I don't know. I, re I recently done this earlier. Yeah, this looks like something interesting. Key, a key's good. Healing potion's good. Pretty gem soul's good. That's the only type of potion I get is healing potion. I don't get really any other type of potions. Cause they're the one I can just go to really quick when I'm about to die and just heal myself. Anything else I can pretty much survive without. Why is there so many rats in here? <laughs> He's some beast mode rats, man. If I saw a rat that size in real life, I'd probably scream like a little female girl. Like a little young peta, peta bear female girl. <laughs> uh, when were we just here? Did I go in a circle? I feel like I just went in a circle. <laughs> Skyrim, why you let me go in circle? Why you no know, take me the right way? I think I'm getting, I think I'm getting lost here. That was a big old pucker of the lips there. I think I'm getting lost. Let me open this door here and see if I'm lost or not. Oh, yep, I'm lost. The great thing about this game though, even if you get a little lost and just don't feel like running around in a circle, you can just bust out this magic spell. And it'll pretty much just lead you wherever you're supposed to go. I didn't even see this door. Alright, Orn, where do we go? That's one thing I really like about this game. It has that spell. Like, when I used to play Oblivion and uh, Marwyn, that's yeah. one thing that really bothered me about that game is I could never find where to go. Like, I could never find what I was supposed to do next. And this game, it just, it always tells me where to go next. It always starts, it starts off with it being like someone telling you to go to the next town. And it starts you off with a mission. And you can just follow those missions. With Oblivion and Morrowind, I never felt that. And I always felt like I never knew what I was doing. I just like roam around and just never really complete anything. Like I never beat Oblivion and Morrowind. But they made Skyrim so much better. <laughs> it's epic. I mean even, even nowadays, like before this came out, I tried to play some Oblivion on computer. And after I got first the, the past the first little bit, again, I was just roaming around going, what the hell am I going to do? So I don't know. This, this game really helps you find your way a lot better than Oblivion and Morrowind did. And for you, and for you noobs, Oblivion and Morrowind was the other two, the last two Elder Scrolls before this one came out. Oh yeah, destruction went up, so does that mean I can finally get my magic up? Yep. I'm going to do the uh, fire one instead of the other ones, because I use fire more than anything. It's one of my favorites. Let's see how good it works. Sent him flying. Works great. <laughs> so we'll do the healing, we'll do a wait, and we're going to run through this. It's been 18 minutes worth of a dungeon. Well, we did a little bit of running and talking to get to this dungeon, but still. I'm ready to get this mission over with and get back to the companions and see what's next. They'll probably send me on like a really basic mission to go kill something in someone's house. That's what I normally do. They send you on like really dumb basic stuff and then they send you on like the main stuff. It like switches in between. But um, after the companions I think I want to really do the Dark Brotherhoods. Because this will be my third time doing the uh, companion missions and i only done the Dark Brotherhood once so I want to redo it. But um, this is the dungeon area, and we're about to fight a whole bunch of ghouls and undead stuff. And then we're gonna get the hell out of here. Which one was this? I don't remember. Was it Mark of Death? Nope, the Fire Breath. Something that I'm not gonna use. Nice. <laughs> to take the potions, like I said, the only thing I care about. I actually just normally just buy a shitload of them to make sure I have them, but let's do it. Give me this. This is what we're looking for, this little fragment right here. All that trouble for a piece of fragment. So as you see, the door closed, and we can't quite get out of it. 
And so what we're going to do now is pretty much just fight a whole bunch of shit. And then this this right here will open up and we'll be able to leave. Let's fight. Burn. Probably just mostly start burning most of them. And then when I run out of, when I run out of mamma, magicka, I'll bust out my sword and take them. Because we're about to seriously fight about 20 ghouls. Not in a row, but... Not all at once, but in a row is what I meant to say. <laughs> 20 minutes into the commentary, my words get a little mixed up. I'm sure you guys are used to it by now. But um, the difference between this Let's Play and the other Let's Plays I've been doing is I can actually tell that a few of you guys have been watching this. Like, every single one you've been, like, watching and not just, like, skipping. Like, because when I was doing Modern Warfare 3, you know, the, the new one, it was a really great story and I had a really great time doing it. But I don't really. Ooh, that's a very awesome necklace. But I don't really feel that anyone is watching it. And I know no one watching the damn battlefield. The only comments I ever got in the battlefield was, "This looks like shit." And really, I mean, it wasn't my fault. It looked bad. Like I don't even know why it did that. Can you get that up, please? Like I don't even know why it recorded so bad. And also, I miss Battlefield so bad. Like, Battlefield 3 was such a fun game. And it wasn't the campaign that I missed, but it was the, um, the online. It was so fun. Like, when I get a job, I might have to buy that game again. Like, I do not miss Modern Warfare 3 online, but I missed the hell out of playing Battlefield 3 online. That game was so fun. And I know it looks really crappy, and if I buy it again, I probably won't record too much of it. But I will definitely just want to play it for fun, you know? And I said buy it again, I rented it, I didn't buy it, but still. That was a friggin' fun game. I'd recommend any of you guys getting it. Especially if you see it on sale, since it is like Christmas and stuff. If, if, that's, if you want a choice out of Mono Warfare or Battlefield, get Battlefield. It's so freaking good. I mean, it starts off a little rough, but once you get past the rough stages... It's such an epic game. It's a lot better in Modern Warfare 3. From what I've been reading and seeing, a lot of people are disappointed in Modern Warfare 3. A lot of people are just going back to Black Ops because they're so disappointed. And I'm not saying that I was like super, super disappointed, but survival mode has nothing on zombie mode. And I liked both of the campaign modes, but just something with Modern Warfare 3 um, multiplayer just doesn't sit right with me. I didn't enjoy it. When I did, um, when I did, um, Black Op multiplayer, I prestige one time, so I at least enjoyed it for a good three or four months, and I really did love it. I used to play it, I knew the maps well, but I didn't feel that way with Modern Warfare 3. I didn't enjoy the multiplayer at all. I had no passion to want to play it, and I know a lot of people do, and that's cool. I don't harp on them. I'm not loving just one game out of the other. I'm just giving you my true opinion, because I play everything. But, you know, I'm just saying, a lot of people really didn't like Modern Warfare 3, and um, that's, a, that's kind of surprising, you know, they have such fanboys. So, we'll see in 2013 when we get the, the next Black Ops 2, which I'm really stoked for because I want new zombies. I really wish they'd put out another zombie map. Man, I had a dream they did. I didn't, I don't think I posted it because I was making this video and I was like harping on how the moon map sucks. And uh, I won't get into that now, but I was talking about the dream, and it was just so nice to have a new zombie map. I'm gonna drink some more water, my voice hurts. I've been bitching for 20 minutes. Ah, nothing like some Winn-Dixie spring water. We're gonna fast travel back to the spot. But yeah, I just had like a dream, you know, they had a new zombie map, and it really made me happy. <laughs> I want a new zombie map, but they won't. They're too busy working on Modern Warfare 3. And it sucks. I'm going to have to wait a whole year before I get to play zombies. But I think I will be doing extension, a tips and tricks, to level 1 through 20. So that'll be fun. That'll be fun. Another something I'll be covering. But uh, we're going to go finish this up, maybe start another mission, and that'll be the end of this video. Because we're 25 minutes in. Put your shit away. We're in town, son. Ooh, 360. Yeah. Splash. Missed that and just fell on the rocks. Eesh. That's one thing, every time I jump in water, I always usually miss and hit the rocks and kill myself. Every freaking time. <laughs> We've been awaiting your return. Yeah, I'm the shit. Um, while well, you're waiting for me. Come. Why were you? Me. Let's do this. Is this my initiation? Are you gonna 
initiate this sexy girl into your club? I would too. I wouldn't only do it because she's a badass fighter, but she's fine. You could use more fine girls. And, you know, I know I know girls were more dirty back then. You know, they didn't have showers, but you know, I kind of find it hot. It's pretty hot. Oh, this is the girl I want to marry too. Her. She's kind of cute. Today we welcome a new soul to our mortal fold. This woman has endured, has challenged, and has shown her valor. Who will speak for her? That ass. I stand witness to the courage of the soul before us. Would you raise your shield in her defense? I would stand at her back, that the world might never overtake us. That's not what he said. And would you raise your sword in her honor? It stands ready to meet the blood of her foes. And would you raise hey, baby. I like your eyes. I like your dress. We will get married one day. Mark my word. Then the judgment of this circle is complete. Her heart beats with fury and courage that have united the companions since the days of the distant green summers. Let it beat with ours that the mountains may echo and our enemies may tremble at the call. It shall be so. Yeah. Well, girl, you're one of us now. I trust you won't disappoint. Now you have two sexy girls in this club. Ah, yes! Um, I didn't mean to talk to you. I meant to do my shout. Yeah. It's awesome. So anyway, guys, we're gonna we're gonna get some more work. I'm gonna first talk to my wife to be. And um, we're gonna see what our next mission is, and then this is gonna be the end of this video. Wifey, where are you going? Damn it, wife, come back here. She doesn't know it yet, but we're so hooking up. That's my wife to be. And I know I can marry her after I beat the companion missions. I've read it somewhere. If not, I will kill her. If that's how it was back in the day. The bitch wouldn't marry you, killed her. <laughs> Get out of my way! You know what I like to do? Well, I can't do it right now. I'll do it after talking to my wife. What's up? Come to me with any I'm looking for work, the wife to be. Hafengar has asked for our help. It seems that predators have taken up residence and have been attacking farmers and travelers. Someone's got to head out there and take care of the beasts. So I'm gonna go fight Good. a beast. I'll I take care of it. Count on you. It's simply a beast, but be cautious. The beasts of Skyrim are made of. So like I said earlier, they just send you on like random missions. Like you do one, and then you come back and do like a main mission. So it's not too bad. But anyway, I like coming over here. Move, wifey. And ruining shit like this. Uh, love doing that. You know why? Because it's fun. And not only that, that old lady that walks around has to clean it up. There she is. You have to clean I up my see messes. Everything, hear everything, and know everything. My no, you have to clean up all my messes. It's fucking funny. Hey. We gray maids have been feuding with the battle. No, I didn't mean to talk to you. You're a loser. Uh, you. That's what I want to talk about. Is it better hey. be important? I can't say it yet. Damn it. It's cool when you go around and you ask everybody what's it like to be a werewolf because they aren't supposed to talk about that. And like the dumb one's like, well, it's kind of weird at first. Oh, wait a minute. We aren't supposed to talk about that. So it's kind of funny. But um, anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut this and make this one video. Then I will continue on and I will do the mission that we are set out to do that is going to be very easy. We're just going to clear out the Sleepy Fall Burrow or whatever the hell it says. And we're going to do that. So thank you guys for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you watched it all this way. Leave in the comments what you guys think and what you got. It's fucking far. That's going to be a walk. So, like I said, tell me what you guys think. Let me know what you guys want to see. Give it a thumbs up. Click ads if you see them. Leave it in the comments. Thank you guys for watching and such. Talk to you guys later. Peace.